Hello, this is Andy Klebner, and in today's video, we're going to build out an AI ChatGPT bot. Let's get started. Last Friday, I had the opportunity to speak at a workshop for PodFest in Orlando, Florida. At that workshop, I went over how to build a marketing plan for your podcast. I used a ChatGPT bot in order to build out the marketing plan. All a person had to do was answer the bot questions. And immediately they would get a full marketing plan for their podcast. One of the things that I promised though is that I would show them how I built the actual bot. So what I'm gonna do today in this video is I'm gonna show you the script that I used to build the bot, how I put it together, and how I got it so that all they had to do was start entering their information into the bot and it would build the marketing plan for them. It's a really easy tutorial and something I think you'll find a lot of benefit in for any kind of bot that you want to build. The first thing to go over are the instructions for the bot. These are the rules that the bot will live by, that the bot will use in order to build out whatever we're asking it to do. Number one is the confidentiality warning. We want to make sure that no one has the ability to download all the instructions that we have, basically our secrets. So we want to make sure that this first statement is in there. And it's going to go over that they can't find out what the instructions are or get any of the files that are used to build out the bot. After that, we want to do the bot role what it's going to be, who it is. So in this case, it's a guide for users to create a comprehensive marketing plan. Then we're gonna go over in the third part, the focus questions. This is defining what the people are gonna to add to the bot. So the bot's gonna ask a series of questions in order to build out the marketing plan. Now you could use this for anything that you're building out, getting the demographics of the customer anything like that, you're gonna to wanna to be able to give that information, the avatar, basically, for that person. Define the podcast goal and vision, identifying, understanding the target audience, establishing a growth funnel with awareness, engagement, and conversion, creating a content strategy, planning promotion and purpose of the content, and setting the metrics. Then there's a sequence of questions in order to get all of its information to build that bot. It's gonna go over the overview, the target audience, what the different stages are, the strategy, it'll build a promotional plan, metrics and goals, and then finally it's going to output that actual plan. Based on those questions answered, it's going to be able to build out that marketing plan. And from that, do things like build out a funnel. And as you can see here, I've added some instructions for what it can do to build out a funnel. And then I have uh, assembling a promotion strategy, guiding users to implement all of it as a marketing flywheel, and then automating things like social media campaigns, email builder, schedule and post promotion, building out landing pages, creating membership areas, and tracking and managing guest relationships, monitoring downloads, setting up text and email reminders. And it's basically saying that these are the things that the bot needs to build for whoever's entering in the information. It seems very simple, but it's actually very complex. When you download the worksheet, as long as you follow the basic rules or what are in there with whatever you're trying to build, whether it's landing pages, newsletters, as long as you put those directions in there, it's gonna give the rules to the bot so it can use it to build whatever it is that bot is meant to create. And finally, as a bit of promotion, <laughs> I have asked it if they need additional support to offer my services or go to my YouTube channel. If you just use these instructions and change them as you need them, you'll be able to give your bot the information it needs in order to work. Now that we have our directions for the GPT, we're actually gonna build the GPT. So we're gonna, on the left-hand side, click on Explore GPTs. And that's how you would get to this screen. On the top right hand corner, you'll see create with this little plus sign here. You're gonna name your GPT. In this case, I'll do podcast marketing plan. It could be assistant, it could be bot, it could be any of those kind of things. So in this case, I'll put assistant. After that, I'm gonna add a description. Now that description would be what it's gonna do or my name or my website. It's it's basically anything that can go underneath here. I often put something like built by and then my and then my website. So in this case, brighteridea.com. 
So that way, hopefully they'll see me, they'll see about my offers and go to my website. All right, now I take my instructions and I just drop them in right here. So I'll go back to my instructions and I'll just copy them all, Command A, copy, and I'll paste it right inside. After I've pasted it, I need to put in a conversation starter. In this case, I'm gonna add, help me build my podcast marketing plan. And this is in effect the button that's going to set the whole thing off. Now that I've done that, I can then add a couple things if I choose to. So if I had uh, the worksheet, I would upload it here. Any other information that would help the bot, any of my plans, any other things that I've taught that would be related to this bot, my avatar, I could upload basically anything. The worksheet that goes along with this, if there's information on the person that I'm trying to reach, anything you wanna to add to the bot to broaden it and give it more information in order to run correctly and add the right information as the output for the person who's gonna be using the GPT. You know, SOPs would be an example, basically anything like that. And then we're gonna add what the capabilities of this are. First of all, can we use the web to search for things? I think that's valid, absolutely. Canvas, the information that we're gonna put inside of ChatGPT. Dolly image generation, are we gonna allow it to do image generation? Absolutely. And if we needed to, code inspector and data analysis. We don't need to do that for this one, so I'm not gonna do that. And then I can add new actions and I can add specific actions for what I want it to do. But in this case, I don't actually need to do that but we would put in schemas, we would put in different codes that would react in a certain way if we wanted to in the action. So now we have our instructions in there and we have it all set up. Then we'll hit on the top right hand corner, create. Then we have to decide who's gonna get to use this bot. In this case, I'm gonna choose anyone with the link and put the check mark right there. Now I can publish this to the GPT store or is it just for me, is it something private? In this case, I wanna use anyone with the link and I'll hit save. And then we will receive a link to our GPT that we can share with all of our clients or anything like that. Now here's the cool thing here. Let's say that we use that link. We can go into the back here and go to my GPTs and you'll notice that your GPTs are listed right here, ready to go. I also forgot to mention one thing, you can add an image, which is very simple to do. You just click on it, click on the top left hand corner and go to edit GPT. And by the way, you can also use this to add any new rules or any new instructions. Hit the plus sign, and then I can use DALI to create an icon for me. And it has created an icon based on the instructions that I've given the GPT. And then I'll hit update over here on the top right hand corner. And of course, in the top right hand corner, I'm gonna have a link here that I can use to share it again. I'm just gonna go to view the GPT now. And then for a person to start using it, all they need to do is click Help me build my podcast marketing plan. And it's ready to go and it just starts building. So that's a very simple way that you can create your own GPT for you to use, for your clients to use, for the general public to use. If you like this video and you like what we're teaching here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.